Problem number 6 of International Math Olympiad in 2006. Assign to each side B of a convex polygon P the maximum area of a triangle that has B as a side and is contained in the polygon P. Show that the sum of the areas assigned to the sides of P is at least twice the area of P. As usual, Let's look at the simple case. Consider a regular polygon with an even number of sides, 2n. In such a polygon, the height of triangle ABE, where AB is one of the sides of the polygon, and E is the vertex on the opposite side of this polygon. The height AE of this triangle is two times the height of triangle AOB, where O is the circumcenter of this polygon. From this, it follows that the sum of the assigned areas of sides of this polygon equals two times the area of the polygon S. Notice that the super triangle ABE is formed by a side of the polygon AB and a diagonal that goes through one of its two ends, in this case B, that divides the polygon into two polygons with equal numbers of sides, N. As one of the official solutions of this problem suggests, we can use this pattern that uses such diagonals we can call them main diagonals, for any arbitrary 2n gone, not necessarily regular polygon. This diagram shows an example of a convex 2n gone with all its main diagonals. We see that each pair of adjacent main diagonals creates a pair of triangles with vertical angles, such as triangle 1 and triangle 1 prime triangles 2 and 2 prime, etc. These triangles cover the entire interior of the given 2n gone. Indeed, if we take any point x shown on the diagram and find the closest main diagonal on one side of it and the closest main diagonal on the other side of it, then this point lies in one of two triangles formed by these two main diagonals. If, for example, point X belongs or lies on one of the main diagonals, then it still belongs to one of its two triangles. This implies that the sum of the areas of all triangles, triangle 1 and triangle 1 prime, etc., is not less than the area S of the 2n gone. The fact that the given polygon is convex guarantees that all such triangles are contained in the interior of the given polygon. It follows from the previous result that at least for one i, where i is an index of pair from 1 to n, the sum of two triangles i and i prime is not less than s divided by n. Let, for example, this i be equal to 1. So the sum of two triangles 1 and 1 prime is not less than s divided by n. If we drop a perpendicular from a to line segment bd, then segment ah is the altitude for two triangles aob and aod. If, for example, the part OD is greater than or equal to OB, then the area of triangle AOD is greater than or equal to the area of triangle AOB. Now, triangle CDA is the sum of two triangles, A1 prime and triangle AOD. From that, it follows that the area of triangle CDA is greater than or equal to the sum of two triangles, 1 and 1 prime, and therefore is greater than or equal to S divided by N. That proves that at least one of the triangles formed by a side of the given polygon with even number of sides and the opposite vertex is equal to or greater than S divided by N. If such triangle CDA is not a super triangle and there is another triangle with 
side CD whose area is larger than the area of CDA, then the area of that super triangle is still greater than or equal to S divided by N. This result is the key for the proof of the statement of this problem. Now let's consider an arbitrary polygon with N sides. The diagram shows such polygon A, B, C, D, E, and a super triangle for each side. For example, such super triangle for side A, B is obviously a triangle with side A, B and with opposite vertex that is collocated with one of the vertices of the given polygon that has maximum distance from line L to which side AB belongs. And let's prove the statement of this problem by contradiction. The contradictory assumption is that the sum of areas of all super triangles of this polygon is strictly less than 2 times s, where s is the area of the given polygon. This can be rewritten as the sum of ratios triangle i to area s for all sides of this polygon, and that this sum is strictly less than 2. Then there exists a set of such rational numbers, pi over qi, where i varies from 1 to n, such that their sum equals 2, where each of these rational numbers is strictly greater than the corresponding ratio of the area of super triangle i over area s. So we have n fractions, pi over qi, where all pi and qi are positive integer numbers, such that the sum of these rational numbers is 2. If k is a common denominator of all pi over qi, then we can rewrite the equality as the sum of numbers ki, where i varies from 1 to n, equals 2 times k. And each ki over k is strictly greater than the area of the corresponding super triangle over S, the area of the given polygon. This inequality can be rewritten as the area of each super triangle over Ki is strictly less than S over K. Now we can divide each side of the given polygon into Ki equal segments and consider these equal segments of each super triangle, the side of 2k gon. So actually, the 2k gon is the same polygon as our given n gon. Simply, the angle between each two adjacent sides of 2k gon that belong to one side of n gon is 180 degrees. It's pretty, isn't it? Notice that each of these new triangles is still a super triangle for its respective base, because the opposite vertex still has the maximum distance from line L that is the continuation of this side of this polygon. Therefore, from our earlier key result, it follows that there exists at least one of these partial super triangles such that its area is at least the area of the given 2k gon, which is the same as the area of our given n gon, divided by k. This contradicts our last inequality. This completes the proof of the statement of this problem.